in one week. Fuck me! That's consistency! Wow! Okay, so... Why do I just keep... Sorry. <laughs> um, nah. First of all, hope you guys are doing very well. You guys are always so, so nice in the comment section. I don't know. You guys are just wonderful. So thank you guys. Hope you guys are there for each other as well. Um, and I know you guys are sometimes. And actually, most of the time, um, when people are down, you guys help each other up. I see that sometimes in not only our comment section, but the other comment sections with um, people from my channel that have subbed to me. So thank you guys so, so much. Um, it just means a lot. Spread the love, spread the joy. Okay, so today's video, as you can tell by the title, is what to fucking expect from MLS or American soccer in general in the next 10 years. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so let's do the first point here. Obviously, for MLS, it has to be the fan bases, okay? Now, MLS teams have had fuller stadiums for the past two years, three years. You're actually noticing that. Like, dude, you're blind if you don't notice that. Like, what the fuck? Um, <laughs> uh, no, but I think in the next 10 years, oh god, I don't know, maybe a 100% increase? 200%? Maybe a hundred seventy-five percent increase in uh, fan base. That might be good. Lots more uh, shirts being sold. Lots more balls being kicked. Oh God. Oh God. Oh no no no. That just sounded so fucking wrong. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. I meant... Yeah, no, that wouldn't sound better either. You know what? Okay, I should just say more people playing soccer. Fuck! Yeah, nah. More people playing soccer, though. Um, It will be a wonderful thing because you'll get to see more... Um people from around the world come in to watch MLS, I believe, and experience what it has to offer. It will become like a tourist attraction, you know? Kind of like people who visit Real Madrid. Jesus, how many people visit Real Madrid's um, games when they go? Live, I would assume, right? Who wouldn't want to see Vinicius Jr. cooking the defenders, right? Like, come on. Or how many people go to um, Manchester United um, um, when they visit Manchester? I think Manchester United are the only fucking reason that they go to Manchester. <laughs> no offense to Manchester, it's a cool city. But honestly, they're one of the main reasons, okay? Most historic club, one of the most historic clubs, um, one of the best clubs with some of the best players. Who wouldn't want to see fucking Ronaldo? Okay? Now, who wouldn't want to fucking go to a game to watch Cristiano Ronaldo? I would. I want to go. <laughs> I would go just to see fucking Ronaldo. Like, dude! Who wouldn't? But yeah, no. The fan bases in the MLS will continue to rise. The tourist attractions in MLS will continue to go up. Um, and the atmospheres will get even better and attract better players. And with that, I hope that we'll have better budgets for the league, which is my next point. Budgets! Fuck! I hate talking about money. I absolutely hate it. But we can't talk about what will happen in the next 10 years for MLS without talking about the salary cap or how much money will be spent by the clubs and facilities. Now, Sounders back here, hello. <laughs> uh, they have fucking uh, been spending shit ton of money on a new facility. 
And, and um, it's a new state-of-the-art facility, probably almost better than what Real Madrid or Juventus or anyone in Europe has, okay? So, we're committed to have a very great um, facility for the players to train at and for the fans to come interact with them. But, what do I think will happen for the rest of the league? I think the same, honestly. The next uh, five years, honestly, they'll be following the same path as the Sounders. Maybe make a new facility, a couple new um, stadiums for, well, honestly, most teams are soccer-specific stadiums in MLS. But I think Chicago Fire will get their own stadium, and I think New York City FC. Well, if they don't get their new stadium, then something is really wrong. <laughs> but no, you get what I'm saying. Um, I really hope that happens, though, with facilities. Um, but I do think it will happen um, in the next 10 years. Uh, better facilities, bigger facilities, newer, more expensive, more high-tech facilities. No. But that is... Um, that point. So, what is the next one? Can we talk about the fucking salary cap, please? That should be the fucking next point. Listen, NFL has like a 207 million salary cap for each team. Wages. For each team's fucking wages, okay? MLS has like how many? 2 million? 4 million? I don't fucking know. Like, dude, what the fuck? Nah, that's like messed up. But no, I hope someone fixes this, okay? I think it will happen in the next seven years. I don't know, I might be dead by then. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but no, the next um, ten years, definitely salary cap will be fixed. Let's hope so. Um, my next point is, well, actually, no, let's fucking go back. I'll tell you why it needs to be fixed, okay? I'll tell you why. Here's why the salary cap needs to be fixed. Better players, more wages, you can spend it on lots of other things, such as facilities, you can get better coaches, you can get better coaching staff, you can get all sorts of fucking things with a better salary cap. You know what salary means? Obviously, all soccer viewers are smart, no, I'm just kidding. Lots of, lots of, uh, I'm stupid, so that's kind of not true. Sad. Not all soccer fans are smart, obviously, because of me, so. Sorry if I made you stupid. Please forgive me. Um, after this video, you should go watch some fucking explosions to see your brain cells back after listening to me. Uh, <laughs> but no, um, salary basically means... How old do I fucking think my viewers are? Jesus. Um, no. Salary is just about how much people get paid, the stars, the amount of money for coaching. I think it counts as coaching and not all players. If it is only players, please put it in the comment section down below so I know. But I'm pretty sure it's for, like, the whole team staff. I'm not really sure, though. Um, but yeah, that's about the salary cap. Next thing is Champions League. Obviously, Sounders had a very historic win in the Champions League. Um, but, do we expect more? Fuck yeah! <laughs> Fuck yeah! We should, um, it's like, it's like, well, basically, it's kind of like, I can't think of a god, I can't even think of an example for this. Um, okay, it's kind of like we opened up a landing uh, pad for other helicopters to fucking land. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, fuck. Let's continue. But no, um. I think multiple teams in the next 10 years, definitely after the next two years, <coughs> because we'll be getting better and better, um, we'll win the Champions League. 
Sure hell's gonna be the Sounders. We're gonna win another one. Hear that, boys? We're not done yet. That was a little bit creepy. Okay. So, um, I'm really sorry. Okay. <laughs> nah, but listen. Fuck sake. Fuck sake. Just listen here. I think there will be much success, not only against Mexico, but in friendlies as well, or even in the World Cup, the Club World Cup. I hope so, okay? That's another point. And my last point! What is it? Okay, I actually don't fucking know. I am not prepared. Fuck. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. The last point is coaching, okay? Coaching. You need to think about the coaching, okay? There will be multiple coaches that retire in the next year. I know Brian Schmetzer might. How old is he now? Like 57, something like that? He'll be almost 70 in the next 10 years, okay? He's probably gonna retire. Um, Bob Bradley, another one. He's not gonna stay in the MLS or even stay with soccer for the next 10 years, you never know. Um, players as well. But, dude, it's, it's, it's just a decade. It takes a lot out of the body and a lot out of the league, okay? So players like Carlos Vela, Raul Ruiz Diaz, Josie Altidore, Michael Bradley, who's not performing very well for Toronto. Very enjoyable to watch. Sorry, no, I'm just kidding. Sorry, Toronto fam. You guys are great. Um, but no, Michael Bradley, fucking Jeremy Bobasi, all those players will not be playing in 10 years. They'll be all fucking retired and gone. Their careers will be dead. That was a little bit. Oh, sorry. But no, just think about this. All of soccer will change. Messi, Ronaldo, Ibrahimovic, Dybala, even Mbappe is gonna be 32 or some shit. That's insane. But no, everyone is gonna retire that is over the age of 25. Okay? Almost everyone over the age of 25 is going to retire. So, you have to think. That means Kevin De Bruyne of Man City. That means I think I think Gabriel Jesus yeah no that means incredible players that are in their prime today will be retired it's sad but it's true but it's just how the world works sometimes you know it's sad but it just it is what it is uh, uh, so, uh, let me know what you think of this. I personally hate myself for making this video so fucking cringy. Please forgive me. Um, why did I think about doing the most fucking cringy thing? I'm done. I'm actually fucking done. <laughs> uh, I guess just fucking... You don't have to subscribe, it's free. Do whatever you want, it's your fucking body, okay? I'm not doing anything. You know what? Do what you want, okay? Cheers. But no, let me know in the comments what you think of um, the new generation of soccer in the United States and what you think that I should put in the next MLS review video or something, okay? Um, so, yeah! fucking enjoy the rest of your days i hope you guys will have a wonderful wonderful rest of your day or night or whatever the hell it is um anything happy holidays if you're watching this on a holiday uh good night uh good morning just hi <laughs> or goodbye cheers guys have a good one